today I am answering one of your art questions about what to do when your friend is really bad at art but doesn't seem to be aware of it. Hi, I'm Lisa, the artist behind Lockery Fine Art. Freya writes, hello there Lockery. I have watched your videos for a long time and you inspire me to no end. Yay! I have a question regarding a friend. She claims to be a cartoonist and she has recently started taking commissions. She has a Facebook group which consists of hundreds of members. Her work, I'm not joking, has the skills as if a child has done them. Figures are really out of proportion, bad line work, coloring outside the lines, etc. She charged a fairly big price for her piece of work, at least 20 pounds, and I can't help but want to tell her that she has to improve her skills as an artist in order to make it work if that's what she really wants to do for a living it just frustrates me to no end is this none of my business should I keep my comments to myself what would you do in this situation honestly unless she specifically asked me I would stay out of it when she isn't getting sales she's going to figure it out that what she's doing isn't working that's a way easier way to go about it than to lose a friendship because when you discourage someone from something that they enjoy, something that they're excited about, you're way more likely to just lose that friend than to have them feel like you're helping them. Now, if she is getting sales, you said she sold something for that price. If she is getting sales with her work being at the level that it is, good for her. She's doing a great job of marketing and branding herself. As I say all the time, you don't have to be the best artist ever. You just have to be good at marketing and branding. That's what's going to sell the work in many cases. I remember years ago seeing artwork created by this guy. His artwork was not good again, very childish. It sounds very much like what your friend is doing, but his website, and he had actually put a lot of work into this website, like a surprising amount given the quality of his work. He marketed it so well. He had these hilarious stories that went with these drawings that made me want to buy one from him. I mean, they were absolutely hilarious. In this case, he's branding himself. It's almost like a com comedy type thing. It was so funny. And it wasn't that he was making fun of his artwork. It was that there was a funny story that went with the really bad drawings. It was hilarious. And I wish I would have kept track of who he was because I'd love to see if he was still doing it. I don't remember who he was. I just remember coming across this website and going, Oh my gosh, this guy is a freaking genius. If she is happy, if she enjoys what she's doing, I don't see any reason to pull her down, to drag her away from that happiness. Not everybody's going to be the next Rembrandt, but that doesn't mean that the joy of creating should be taken away from them. And even if she gets to the point where she's complaining, oh my gosh, I'm not getting sales, why is no one buying anything from me? I probably still wouldn't say, well, your artwork sucks. Instead, you may want to suggest, if you live in the area with her, maybe there's a class you guys could take together, which is fun to do anyway, but maybe exposing her to more artists, or you could even sit down and draw with her, have an art night, and work together and exchange ideas and sort of things. You know, when she sees what you're doing, maybe you could be like, hey, do you like that? Let me show you how to do this. That may help too. But Coming outright and saying, you know what, you're just terrible. That's not going to end well. With the classes, I wouldn't say just go take a class. I would offer to take it with her, something fun you can do together. Because you don't want to come across like the husband who thought it was a great idea to buy a gym membership for his wife for Christmas. Don't be that guy. I have a frequently asked questions page over on my website. If you cannot find the answer to your question, there is a section where you can submit your own question to be featured in one of these videos. I will have a card pop up here so you can check that out. You're not leaving already, are you? Did you hit the subscribe button first? It's required. You you have you just have to hit it before you leave the video. Because I have new art videos five times a week and you wouldn't want to miss out. Don't leave me here to be lonely by myself. That's just sad.